like and subscribe. What is a supernatural event that happened in your life that just cannot be explained? When my grandfather died, my parents were in charge of cleaning out his old house. I ended up helping out a couple of times in the night. Before we were finished I had a dream about my grandfather. Is his basement pointing at a spot behind the staircase? It was so vivid and real that I had to tell everyone about it. The next and final day of cleaning we went to the spot I was talking about. My dad ended up pulling back some old wood paneling and found a bunch of old photographs of when my grandparents first moved into the house. I still get goosebumps when I think about it and have them now while typing. A family friend of ours, Gary, was terminally ill with cancer. He was a father figure to me and one of the few adult males from my previous life. I'm a recovering alcoholic that fully understood me. A friend and myself were in Merv, Utah and found a hostel to sleep in for the night. I had a dream about Gary. He looked amazing, completely healthy and backlit, and was wearing a multicolored sweater. He looked at me with concern in his eyes, pointed backwards and said, I'm not doing too good. I woke up a bit shaken, because it felt so real. I told my girlfriend about the dream and she asked if I needed to call my mom to see how he was doing. I told her that it wasn't necessary because I knew they would call me if Gary passed. That day we drove from Utah to Colorado and stayed in another hotel. About 5am I woke up and my phone was ringing. I could see that it was my mom and I already knew what she was going to tell me. She broke the news that Gari had passed and I basically explained to her that Gari came and told me goodbye. I'm tearing up Ira White now writing this. The picture that his wife picked for his obituary was Gari in that multicolored sweater he was wearing when he came to me in my dream. Had a premonition I'd be involved in a car accident one morning on the way to work as I got out of bed. It was a very strange thought and I considered taking an alternate route but did not. As I got onto the highway it was raining, and a car flew past me, hydroplaned, and slammed into my car. One night I had a dream about my grandpa, who had died almost 20 years prior. We were in his home, and he kept telling me we need to clean the house, we need to get the house ready. When I asked him why, he just said Shiller's coming home. My grandma, his wife of 50 years, died the next day. Woke up one in the middle of the night to a man standing next to the bed staring at my so. He was slightly translucent, and I figured it was just another sleep paralysis episode. Had them before so knew the drill, and rolled over, and went to go back to sleep. Normally being able to move isn't part of sleep paralysis, and immediately my heart began to race as I realized I need to roll over and check what I saw. Person was still standing there, staring at my surf, then he made eye contact with me, stared at me for a while before turning around and walking to the wall, slowly fading away with each step. Next morning so wakes up looking like and said she had the worst night's sleep because she kept having the feeling that someone was watching her. Glad we no longer live in that house. I had a sort of demonic mask on my shelf, and one day, while I was working at my desk no more than 4 feet away from it, it just flew off the shelf and shattered on the floor. It didn't just fall off the shelf, it was like someone threw it across the room. The baffling part to me is that I'm the one who made the mask, so I know it's not cursed by some voodoo hex or something. The ghost was not a mask When I was 9 or 10, it was a bad year. I was regularly physically and emotionally abused. But that year, I was sexually abused. On top of all that, I started having serious mental health issues. Well, when things were at their absolute worst, I started having dreams of this blonde lady telling me to hold on. That things would get better. It was so comforting, and peaceful and continued, as long as the extreme abuse continued. I didn't know who she was, I just figured I imagined her. Well, things finally simmer down, and the dreams stop. About a year later, mom was going through old photo albums, and my blood freezes. I see the blonde woman from my dreams. I ask who she is. Turns out, it was an aunt I had who died shortly, before I was born. 
Edit. Holy hell. Thank you everyone for the kindness you all have shown. I'm tearing up. I didn't expect that. I'm almost 40 now. It was a long time ago. I still have scars, but I was lucky enough to get therapy when I got free from my family. Things aren't great, but they are much improved, and I have no complaints, and that's enough for me. Thank you all. Not scary but still not explainable. When I was 22, I visited my grandma in her retirement home at Christmas. She was well, nothing out of the ordinary. A few days later I traveled to my then boyfriend across the country. Two days after New Year's I woke up at 2am crying. And I just couldn't stop. I wasn't really sad or overly emotional, but the tears just kept streaming down my face. Nothing like that ever happened, and I was kind of confused, as was my BF. I fell back asleep a few hours later. Three days later I was informed that my grandma had died that night at about 2am. Due to the divorce of my parents communication was difficult, and we were only informed after the funeral. I don't believe in anything supernatural, but it's hard to wrap my head around, especially since nothing like this ever happened again. I have had extremely vivid dreams of relatively inconsequential moments in my future life, that I nonetheless keep locked away in a little corner of my head, and then when those moments actually occur, I get insane deja vu that throws me off, until I remember the dreams. It is a very bizarre thing but it ultimately does not mean much to me. An edit since this seems to have blown up. Thank you everyone for sharing your similar experiences with this. And also thank you to those of you attempting to explain what could be going on when the events occur, no matter your stance on it. It is fascinating reading some of the details on what might cause it, or whether it is just some trick of the mind. It is very informative. I once went to open a cupboard in the kitchen, and had a deja vu feeling. I froze and remembered the moment vividly, and knew that a mug would fall, when I opened the cupboard. I held my hand out, and opened it, and the mug fell directly into my hand. I felt bad as. Thought I had superpowers for a day or so. There's a story from, when I was 4, dash, 5 years old, my grandmother was looking through old family photos, and asking me who the people were. We got to a picture of my grandfather, and she asked me who he was, and I said, Pop Poppy Jim. He died suddenly at home, when my mother was 10, in the same house we lived in, so I never met him. She asked me how I knew that, I told her, oh he comes, and tucks me in, and tells me he loves me sometimes, after you go to bed. When I was 12 I woke up with a start at 2.30 in the morning. I wasn't reading and didn't know why I woke up. My parents told me the next morning that my grandfather had had a heart attack and went for emergency surgery. He died at 2.30 in the morning. Very minor, but I still go what the When I remember. When I was a kid, around 6, I lived in a very arid area and a white field of red dirt was between my house and my bus. Every day, walking over there, when I got about halfway across, I'd pick up a dirt clod or a small rock, and toss it behind me over my shoulder. About 10 seconds later, it would come flying back over my head and land in front of me. I'd just grin and keep walking. I remember this really distinctly, even trying to replicate it later in childhood, after I'd moved away, and being sad, that it didn't work anymore. Didn't question it as a kid, but looking back, just really weird. Also my job site is haunted but this seems stranger. Once. As days were growing colder. Throwing dirt behind his shoulder. Upton came a boy who found me. Didn't mind to be around me. Once upon a time I waited. Smiled to hear his walk, elated. Learned to catch the things he gave me. Slept alone and dreamt he'd save me. Once. I knew a boy in fleeting. Moments spent in unrepeating. Moments where he'd almost know me. Always knew he'd soon outgrow me. Was in college walking to class. Went across a busy street and a hand grabbed my shoulder, quite hard, and stopped me. A car zoomed by that world of killed me. Nobody was behind me, or anywhere close enough to have stopped me. Guardian Angel. 
I was about 15, and trying to sleep, but having an asthma attack. Late in the night I started hearing a rhythmic breathing from the floor next to the bed. It wasn't scary, more comforting. And it wasn't me, because my breathing sounded way more ed up than that. It helped me calm down, and get to sleep, even though I was still sick, I was able to get my hands on an inhaler in the morning. At the time I thought it was a friendly ghost. I later rationalized that maybe I was hearing a family member through the heating ducts. What I realized years later, when I had a dog, was that it had sounded exactly like a big dog sleeping next to the bed. So now I'm 50 over 50, on whether a ghost dog came to visit me, or my own dog time traveled back about 10 years, before she was born to comfort me. Or my own dog time traveled back about 10 years, before she was born to comfort me. Sounds exactly like the thing dogs would do, if they could time travel. I have many, but here's the first that popped in my head. I was driving home from work, after picking up my baby late at night. Not many cars around out on the country roads. The one stoplight out there was red for me so I stop. It turns green, and have a sudden voice or thought, or whatever in my head saying don't go yet. Nothing is coming. I'm still sitting at the green light. Right as I let off the brake, a semi comes flying through his red light. I was shook. Well when I was around 6 years old I was walking down the stairs no one was behind me and all of a sudden I remember getting chills then feeling a faint hand on my shoulder, before I got basically pushed down the stairs, I was alright a few cuts, and bruises nothing serious, but I still remember the feeling of the invisible hand on my shoulder, it haunts me. The only way I can explain this one is wishful thinking. My mom and dad were codependent, and they liked it that way. They didn't want other people, other than the kids. They were completely happy to be just wrapped up in each other. My dad died the day before his birthday in a hospice center. Afterwards, it was like he was still home. His touch lamp beside his recliner would go on by itself. The recliner would rock like someone was getting in it. And sometimes, my mom or my sister would hear my dad saying, Honey, fix me a cold drink. That was exactly how he'd ask my mom to fill up his massive mug with Sprite over ice. My mother died less than a year and a half later. After my mother died, there was never another sign of either of them being there. They've been gone now for close to 14 years now. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you 3 weeks of good luck of good luck.